Hi guys, Steph here. Now, from my recent pen haul video, um, I've had a lot, a lot of interest in lots of the pens. Um, but there was one particular pen I thought, right, I'll get a lot of interest on this one. Unfortunately, there was no interested parties in, in the pen. And that particular pen is this one here. There you go. You can see a very old pen, vintage pen, um, as all of them, a little bit tired. Uh, it's got some some discolouring to it. As always with these particular pens, uh, they need a full service to get them working in full condition. But either way, still a nice worthy pen to work on. And after that work on, here is the pen in question. A gorgeous little, well, I was going to say a gorgeous little pen. It's not so little. What we've got for you here, nice and simple, is a Anotto the pen. Or Anotto, uh, well, let's take you first of all to the, to the imprints. And I think that's the one there. If I show you the the cap imprint there, first of all, you can see it says Anotto the pen. And then if we take you to the barrel imprint, okay, it's not as pronounced as the cap one, but hopefully you can see it. It says Anotto patent self filling pen and then underneath it has Delarue London okay so a gorgeous pen as I said it was a bit tired there was some discolouring to it um, obviously the plunger wasn't working what I've done disassembled the whole pen everything's been thoroughly cleaned internally We've put a brand new cup washer uh, inside the pen. We've re put brand new cork washer seals as well. And hopefully now, as we'll show you in a moment, it's in full working order. Now, which pen is it? I believe this one is what they term as the Long Slim 1000 series. And I'm dating the pen sort of 1920s plus, 1920s, maybe getting into 1930s, but no earlier than the 1920s. As you can see, it's got the plunger knob to the bottom, slight knurling to the end, to the end there. And as you can see now, we've sort of removed a lot of the discolouring. It's in gorgeous condition. Now, the size of the pen, it's a long pen, and when I say long, it's 148 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a tad over 10 millimeters in diameter. Okay, now as I say, I believe it to be this um, long slim 1000. They also brought out a 2000 and 3000 series, uh, but that's for another. For another review a gorgeous pen and yeah in my opinion over a hundred years old maybe and in gorgeous condition and hopefully as we'll see in a moment in working condition now it's got what we term as a slip cap a lot of these pens due to the age due to the pens being used quite regular they have quite a loose slip cap but what I tend to do, I've got a little method that I do which enables me to tighten the cap um, to the section and there we go, you can see it goes on nice and tightly. So there's the pen, let's give you a couple of, sort of the twirls so you can see the pen at different angles as I say I was quite surprised that nobody inquired about this pen uh, the Anotto pens yeah they, they are one of my favorite pens I, I actually love them so let's take you up to the section you can see it's got this quite a long 
section with this sort of slight sort of like an hourglass figure to the section again everything nice and clean and then let's take you up to the to the nib okay there we go you can see it has Delarue Onotto London on the nib itself it's got a lovely nib there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath as I'm repeating myself on all videos everything as you can see is lovely lovely and clean as it should be and as we said a long pen I've got large hands and to be quite honest with you <laughs> although it's a thin pen as well this this section is actually very comfortable indeed to hold and to write with okay it's a lovely comfortable pen to hold as we've said earlier it's what we term as a plunger filler and how do we fill the pen nice and simple what we do we simply unscrew the plunger like so and we pull the plunger out like this we dip the nib and a little bit of the section into the ink it's a long pen so I'm going to have to reach over and then what we do we just simply push down on one swift motion and that creates a vacuum that fills the pen with ink so once again we unscrew the the plunger to the end pull out the plunger like so push down in one swift movement and you can hear it's like a sort of very satisfying popping noise uh, to the end of the barrel here because there's a slight recess where the cup washer uh, sort of falls into place that releases a vacuum and in turn fills the pen with ink and another thing just as we're talking filling with ink look how long the barrel is so can you imagine you know the the ink inside there it's well I would say it holds a good capacity good capacity of ink one other thing on a lot of these are not old pens I've mentioned before inside here it's got a cone like um, top to the plunger which sits inside a concaved uh, end of the of the feed inside and that in effect shuts off the ink so it's got what we term as a shut off valve inside the pen and in theory what happens you, you fill the pen with the ink and then what you would do is turn the plunger all the way home again which would shut off the ink and to use the pen what you do then is give it well supposedly a half turn back that would uh, release the ink and away you go writing with the ink right I know you people like to see these pens working I like showing them because I love the filling system so what we're to do unscrew the line cap pull out the plunger and then dip the ink and the nib sorry the nib and a little bit of the section in the ink and push down on the plunger and then I'll be quiet and hopefully we should hear some bubbling inside the ink okay so we've got lots of bubbling going on you could hear that sort of like a satisfying sort of popping noise so what we do now we simply turn the plunger knob all the way home again that locks the ink or the ink shut off valve let's bring on some paper so to write with a pen we now just give the pen supposedly like a half turn now because it's been fully restored fully cleaned we'll just give it a few seconds for the to the ink to work its way through sometimes it just may be we may find it a hard start but once we get going it should be fine so how does the pen write 
So, what we have is a not so, a not so the pen. Okay, this one incidentally made made in England, made around 19, 1920s. Now the reason I say the 1920s because the earlier versions, for you people that don't know, they had what we term as an over and under feed on the nibs. And this one, as you can see, has what I term as like a standard feed, and that's why I'm dating it sort of 1920s plus. It's writing very nicely. Just a little bit, just a tad on the scratchy side, but what I'll do after the video, I'll smooth the nib and that it'll be even better as it is now. Does it have any flex? Hmm. If it does, very, very slightly. I wouldn't sell it as a, you know, as a fully flexed nib. But, yeah, as you can see, on the downward stroke, we can get a little bit of variation. But I would say writing with a sort of fine, hmm, yeah, maybe getting on for a medium, but writing very nicely indeed. So what I'll do, let's let's empty empty the pen. What I'll do obviously put the nib over the ink bottle. We don't want any spillage. So what I'm doing is just unscrewing the plunger knob, pull the plunger out and pressing down on the plunger a couple of times to remove any remnants of ink and then what we'll do we'll clean that in fact what we'll do as I always do with these pens well not always but what I'm going to do I'm going to do it anyway so let's pull out the plunger as we said dip the ink sorry the nib and a little bit of the feed or the section and there you go you can see that lovely bubbling going on you leave it for a few seconds and then if it was in as I said we screw it back on to use it half turn backwards but what we'll do we'll empty it so pull out the plunger and if we push down I don't want to get sort of water everywhere look at that so pull out the plunger dip the nib in the water Lots of bubbling going on, so everything's working lovely. A few seconds. Okay, and to empty it again, I'm going to pull out the plunger. And then I'll leave it a little bit higher so you can see the water actually squirts out. Look at that. So one more time, plunger out. Plunger in, lots of bubbling. A few seconds. Pull the plunger out, push it back down, there you go, working as it should, lovely jubbly. Okay, so what we'll do, I'll carry on flushing it for a few more times, once I've done the video, to clean everything internally, because what we'll do, we'll find a new home for this gorgeous pen, somebody will enjoy it. For many years to come as you can see it's in full working order let's just give it a full wipe there we go and as I said we've got the cap which sits on nice and tightly there we go look at that okay so that's nice and tight as it would have been when it came out of the Anotto factory. So, hopefully we'll receive some inquiries on this one. Somebody will be the lucky person that is, well, that may sort of actually not inquire, but 
will be the lucky owner of this particular pen in full working order the Anotto Long Slim 1000 in gorgeous condition fully serviced fully restored and as you've just seen in full working order I hope you've enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoy doing them for you and showing you these pens don't forget leave a comment below just below give the video a thumbs up as well I believe it helps me somehow don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to watch regular subscribe to my channel but for now I'm just going to say Slavo Kriini from me and this gorgeous pen I'm just going to say bye bye for now